This weekend's main event receives a major change and Derek Lewis is moving to middleweight. Welcome back guys, you guys already know what it is. Today we're going to talk about these two topics, so if you're interested, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Q&A is on Thursday, so this is going to be like one of your last chances to enter questions for this Thursday, or you're going to have to wait next week. So I'm done wasting your guys' time, let's get into this. First things first, let's talk about this weekend's main event. This weekend's main event was supposed to be Kelvin Gastelum returning after losing to Jared Kennedy last year, and he was going to be fighting Nasruddin Imaval. Now Nasruddin obviously isn't a big big name right now and this main event was going to help propel him into the mainstream hopefully getting him a win against Kelvin Gastelum would increase his popularity amongst other UFC fans and the main event is only four days away now but Kelvin Gastelum yesterday pulled out of the main event due to an injury apparently he got hit and he had to get serious mouth surgery it isn't just because he lost a tooth which I know a lot of people are saying on Twitter but it's because he actually had a major mouth surgery so he can't compete I was one of those people and I have said this in the past that this main event for the first year was not it I think when you're talking about the first main event of the year it's got to be something big it's got to be something top level something that gets the fans excited and Kelvin Gastelum and Nasruddin Imavov is not it like I said who is going to fill in the one and only Sean Strickland Sean Strickland obviously last month fought Jared Kennedy he's gonna have back-to-back -back main events so obviously this is a big stylistic change you know we know Kelvin Gastelum has the wrestling to go to and Nasruddin's wrestling might not have been effective so he might have been more on his toes and obviously Kelvin Gastelum is a southpaw he also has huge power now Sean Strickland is kind of the opposite he's mostly a boxing fighter and used his pace more than power you know we've seen Sean Strickland be in kind of those boring type fights those slow paced fights while Kevin Gastelum is a guy that's going to be coming for you now I'm not going to give a prediction this video that video is going to come out on Friday my final prediction for the fight so I won't say too much on it you know more about it on Friday but credit to Sean Strickland the fight's gonna be at 205 pounds because I assume it was too short notice to make 185 and Sean Strickland is a guy that I will say isn't the worst guy to have as a backup Sean Strickland spars all the time so his car is already conditioned for that kind of fight you know some fighters don't spar too much and sometimes they really need to prepare for those five round fights Sean Strickland is going to go in there and I guarantee cardio will not be a problem both guys are going to be carrying a little extra weight obviously Sean's probably going to be bigger since Nasruddin was supposed to weigh in at 185 and I think it's going to be interesting and I think it's going to be a question of cardio and pace and we're going to get into that on Friday so I'm not going to say any more on that but I do have a prediction right now all right Derek Lewis everybody's favorite heavyweight everyone's favorite Houston King he's back in the news obviously was supposed to fight back in November I believe he pulled out day of the fight because of some sort of stomach issue and now the fight got moved to February 4th now Derek Lewis is now training for that February 4th card which is going to be at 1 a.m. Eastern time that main card starts but that's a separate thing so Derek Lewis has received a lot of attention because of this photo and I really wanted to talk about now obviously we all know Derek Lewis he's the chubby heavyweight but it looks like that Derek Lewis is coming down and wait and hey Derek Lewis has said recently that he's starting to train for the first time for real that he's learning what it takes to be at the top of the division and credit to Derek Lewis because if he hasn't taken it serious it's pretty impressive seeing how far he's gone he's beating Curtis Blades France and Ganu, and he's been in the UFC for like 10 years and Derek Lewis is at the top of the division whether you like to say it or not I mean he is maybe now in the uh, top 10 he was in the top five years ago and I think this is going to be the start of Derek Lewis coming out as a new beast I mean he seems to be taking the super serious you could tell from his weight loss we saw him last fight week and he looked noticeably skinnier and now he's even more skinnier than that but of course Derek Lewis isn't going to come in looking like Michael B Jordan no but it reminds me of when Andy Ruiz in boxing lost some weight he wasn't he wasn't skinny and ripped all of a sudden but it was enough weight to get him more mobile and that has always been Derek Lewis's problem he has that massive bomb but he has trouble getting it to the target so this to me is very positive for Derek Lewis anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know all your thoughts on all the topics today I hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like if you did question comments for the Q&A and I'll see you guys in the next one